Hello and welcome back to our Ottoman campaign in the 1356 mod once again. So uh, yeah, we've got Serbia pieced out and truced up for a while, uh, for as long as possible. We've now got the vassal of Bulgaria, although we have, of course, had to give him Burgos, which is annoying because it's my capital state, which is annoying, but yeah, what can you do? Um... But, Wallachia has now declared war on Serbia. Interesting. Alrighty then. I keep getting bloody rebels. So I guess your job is going to be to go there afterwards. Alright. Won that. Easy enough. We'll go kill the dudes in Amasia. That'd be happy enough. Uh, I think Gelablu also is going to get converted. I think um, this, this home state should be converted. And everything else in Europe that we take is going to be remaining uh, orthodox for the Janissaries. Uh, but the, the home the home one is gonna is gonna be happy and, and Sunni and stuff. And now we just need to figure out what we do about expansion here. Um, do do we do we attack this shit? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. I've got a truce with uh, Genoa. I don't really want to go to war with him right now. I could attack Maria. He's allied with Valahia. And I could use that to get these two for my vassal. So if I attack you directly, I'd be at war with Bohemia and Podolia. Which, I mean, neither of which are too scary. Bohemia, yeah, they're, they're big and they are, uh, I believe, the Emperor. Yeah, they are. But, at the same time, I don't think they're going to be bringing too many troops down through Hungary, because Hungary doesn't like them. As it's only two provinces, I, I feel pretty confident that just attacking Maria is going to be good enough. Plus, it stops Wallachia from joining a coalition. They could do that uh, as soon as they lose their truce. I don't want that to happen. I don't want. Uh, I don't want them to be in a coalition. So yes, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. I am decided. My mind has been made up. Maria, time to attack you. Uh, if I can click the right buttons, that'd be fantastic. And Velaki will of course join in. Now you're gonna go and sit in Guelmachini. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see things progress from here then. Um. More legalism sounds nice. I'll take that. Killed and captured some ships as well. Very cool. Where are my ships anyway? Oh, they're, they're still up here. Completely forgot to do things with them. Like more trading and stuff. And repairs. It is a good job that I remembered now. Alright, let's uh, let's get you all to dock up in Gulmachini. My first uh, port on the Aegean Sea. Which is a little bit strange, but uh, I suppose we do have a lot of vassals over here. So as soon as you've taken that, move to Gurgiu. This is going to go to Bulgaria. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confident of victory. Ooh, we can also do an interaction here. Which means more sweet-ass money for me. I don't believe I have any loans. No, I don't. So we're just, we're just good. You got more missionary strength as well. That's nice. Uh, is there any buildings that I want to build right now? We can build mosques. I'll build one in Adrianople, but uh, nowhere else really screams out for one. Uh, Sinop actually can have a trade post as well. But that's enough. We don't need to go too mad. So we've got Wallachia trying to siege Serbia. Not my problem. I could actually go and stomp them. They did cross the Danube to get to this siege. And I kind of want these Bulgarian separatists to win. No, 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 I don't want to attack the Bulgarian separatists. No, let me escape. No. Ah, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't help but win. That's annoying. Bulgaria declared on Lithuania, good for them. I just lost 6,000 men for no reason. I, I don't want to win the siege. I'd be quite happy if that siege, can, you know, this, this rebellion actually succeeded. 
It would increase the uh, liberty to desire in Bulgaria for sure, but I don't care. I just simply don't. Discovered an agent. Eh. Nothing else here that I can do yet. I mean, conquer Greece, of course, is going to be the goal. I do have claims on all of Maria. I might, I might take it. We'll separate peace out Wallachia for these two, and then I'll take all of Maria. That might be a good idea. Give me a staging point with which to take on um, Serbia as well, so I can go in from two angles. Wouldn't be a terrible idea, in my opinion. Uh, I still don't know if I should make Rum a state. I mean, it is a really good state, especially when I get this, you know, almost 30 extra dev. <gasps> Mamluks have left the coalition! Oh, yes! Now I think I should attack it. Now I really think I should attack it and take everything. Now that the Ottomans are out, yeah, that would be really, really good. I might also give Bulgaria Buzau. It's not an amazing province defensively, but if I don't plan on going any further north, if I don't plan on going into Moldavia, um, I don't want it to be taken by someone on this side so that they can just walk past what will eventually be a fort in Tolchu. Does that make sense? So yeah, I think I think taking this land is for my vassal, of course, not for me, is a good idea. I will say reinforcement rates, and I suppose this is a Janissary army, but reinforcement is so fucking slow. It's crazy slow. Alright, if this is a Valachian army... No, mm, I don't... Wait, you, you really feel strong enough to attack there? That's interesting. Let's see who wins here. I'm fairly confident that Serbia's... Go oh, wait, no, I think Serbia's bankrupt. I think Serbia's bankrupt. Oh, ho, ho, I believe they are. So Serbia's going to lose this. And then I'm going to go in and say, <laughs> No! No, Valachia, you can't siege... Um, this Bulgarian separatist area. I refuse to allow it. Also, he can't siege it. He doesn't have enough. If I could separate piece you for these two, that'd be great. Maybe I can after you've been dealt with. That'll do. That'll do. There's only their capital, Targovista, uh, that I don't have sieged. Yeah, don't don't be sieging on me, please. Don't don't be doing that. It's rude. It's fucking rude, my dude. All right, let's go down into Maria now then. And like I say, I've got permanent claims on it. Might as well use them. Eretin has left the coalition. Yeah, the coalition's falling apart now. Beautiful. It's not because I don't deserve it either. It's because they're just too weak, too weak and insignificant. Watch it reform as soon as I take this, though. Oh, come on. I only want two provinces off you, you arse. Uh, you've got two siege. Just drop that dude there. Go kill him. I suppose you... Oh, you can get there. This has got a fort on it. How, how am I not getting... Crossing problems? I suppose you can't go here, though? You can't. What is with the... What? I'm so confused. What happened to zone of control? Since when was that an irrelevant thing? I'm so confused. Why didn't the zone of control stop me? From, from doing that. I have... Mm. Yeah, no idea. So, Eretna, who are you allied with? Just Dulcadir and Jalariads. Ah, oh, fucking Jalariads. If I attack Kainik, I'd be at war with the Mamluks. Don't want to be at war with the Mamluks. If I attack Karaman, I'd be at war with Dulcadir and Kainik. That actually is what I want to do. Uh, you are allied with Dulcadir, so I could make Dulcadir a co-belligerent that would put me at war with the White Horde. Never mind. I could make Kainik a co that would make me at war with Eretna. Uh, Mamluks, I don't want to do that. I basically want to be at war with you. 
That's Dolka Deer that I need to attack. Dolka Deer's in the way. Mm. So awkward trying to get around the fucking rivalries. It looks like Serbia's got this now. Because I accidentally killed those Bulgarian separatists. Blair. I'm sorry, Bulgaria. I said Bulgaria is going to get all of his land back eventually. Hungary now declared war on Serbia. Maybe they'll give some land to Bulgaria. Who knows? Serbia is not having a good time. And like, do they deserve a good time? I think, uh, I think not. I think they were pretty mean to me, and uh, they deserve everything that's coming to them now. All right. I think as well. You can get dropped, and you can protect trade in Constantinople. And these guys can hunt pirates in Constantinople, and everything is going to be good. I had a, a really cool comment uh, a couple of videos ago saying, basically what I was saying as well, that um, the last time that the Ottomans expanded this much, uh, the Timurids came and slapped them down again. Um, I, I have actually spoken to the, the mod devs about uh, Timur. Um, and they said that it is uh, something that they, I think, used to have, but it was removed, and it would be nice to get it back in the future. If I remember correctly, that's what was said. But I might be wrong. Income from vassals. I like that, as do I like the vassal force limit contribution. So I'm going to do that. That seems good. And you guys can all go back to Gelivalu. If I was to talk directly to you... Yeah, can't get everything that I want. Cannot do it. How about everyone just go to Athens for now? Valachia wants peace. They'll give Kors, Tolchu, and Cilicia to Bulgaria. It'll give up all claims on Bulgaria. Give me 10% of their income and lots of money. That's basically what I wanted from Valakia anyway. Let me see if I can get more than 104 ducats. It's a clear offer. Return the course to Bulgaria. Uh, war reps. Mene. 185. Oh, you were holding out on me, were you? You fucking filthy shit. Uh, and how about you break your alliance with Podolia? Not that I give a shit about Podolia or anything. It's just I don't want you to have that alliance. Uh, and then, as for Maria, wait, yeah, give me, give me all of the money. Oh yeah, I must wait a day, that's why it's not working. Alright, fuck it, everyone go home. Actually, no, you know what, you can, no, yeah, go home, go home. Want all your land, and all your money. What? This is shift, left mouse button, much as they're willing to accept. Shift right mouse button is all of their money. It should not have been a difficult concept for you to uh, to understand. You give me everything. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's not. It's not even remotely difficult. I'm not sure where the difficulty was coming into this. Now Hungary has stopped them from <laughs> desieging Nicopolia. Nice. Right, let's move on Caraman now. It's a shame that Aretna didn't uh, stay in. Would have been nice. That Canic alliance with the Mamluks just annoys me. But Caraman, bringing in Dolkadir and Sainik is perfectly acceptable. Oh, and also Trebizond. I might take this. I don't know. I don't have a claim on it, so I might just try and piece them out. Bohemia declared war on Kiev. Uh, Circassia has entered into the coalition. Come on, Aretna. Time for you to join back in again. Mamluks, feel free to fuck off. The Knights. Yes. Okay, we have to declare this now. Jalarius will actually come and help me as well. Ooh, if I say yes to you and then I attack Aretna afterwards. The knights are going to be conquered in this war. Uh, this war does require that I have all of my uh, fleets together. Because they do have a fair number of boats, especially the knights. 
Right, but we've stack wiped one army. You're coming to come and die as well. Stack wiped two armies. Spend work construction or prestige. I'll take the prestige. I'm already at 100 prestige, so that was maybe a little silly. Right, we'll get you to go over to Marash. We've got a revolt in Sugla. Orthodox zealots. That's annoying. Let's get another general. He's not terrible. Theodora's now in the coalition as well. That's uh, not a stack wipe, but it is a victory. One I will gladly take. But yeah, we definitely want to take the knights out because uh, they're really annoying. I don't have a claim on Malachia. I don't need one. I'm, I'm happy to let Dulkadir walk free. I'm only going to take land that I have claims on. Um, also, it's in it's in his state. It's not in mine anyway. I might let him have it. I don't know. At some point, Jalarias are, of course, going to have to have their alliance broken and uh, they must die. But that's not going to be for a while. You're landing in Solon. I don't know why. Why, why are the knights at war with Serbia? They're not. They just don't want to do a hostile landing, I guess. Let's see if we can uh, prevent any kind of landing. Oh, Kenny has already fallen. Fantastic. And that'll be the end of many of your ships. Uh, this might actually be a good opportunity as well for my army to land in Rhodes. I got a ship trying to come out and to intercept, but unfortunately not fast enough. All right, let's take this uh, eleven thousand men. Let's actually wait until he's fully healed up. Uh, Gwil machine. Glow machine is right there, yes. That is in Thrace, so I will will get it all sorted. In the meantime, you can go and uh, occupy or uh, blockade Icel. That'll be nice. Cilicia, uh, allied with Cyprus, allied with the knight, allied with Armenia. Cyprus. Uh, it's so hard to get around most of these blocks of assholes. Oh, we lost a military leader. That sucks. Oh, that was our uh, commander, our admiral. You're not terrible. I'll take you. You're not terrible in the slightest. Very nice. So, can I separate peace people? Fuck, no, I can't. I'm going to have to basically occupy everyone and go from there. Oh, babbling buffoon. That's not great. That's certainly not great. Fuck. Hmm. Well, nothing to be done about it. Also, I'm going to need to take some uh, dev soon so that I don't lose out to the fucking Mamluks. And France is, is well up there as well. Jesus. I mean, they have almost completely uh, unified France, though. I love seeing Navarra up here. It feels so out of place, but yeah, it's historical, so deal with it. Alright, so you're going to go there. I'm going to grab these 13. Actually, no, I'm going to need all of them. I'm going to go to Sugla. See, if I was to go here, they could bring their boats out. and Yeah, there's 12 boats there. I just don't want to fuck with it. Not right now. Let's get our troops on roads first. Then we'll see about fucking with it. My cell has fallen. Very cool. Uh, lose the stability or lose money. I'm just going to lose the money there. i got plenty. We've got a fairly decently sized force of assholes coming in from the north. So I'll go deal with those. Yeah, Karaman and the knights together have a... I mean, if everyone had been able to merge their navies before I'd attacked... It would have been very difficult for me. Thankfully, that didn't happen. But I mean, there's 14 ships there. Uh, call that 17, uh, 25. I mean, I've only got 25 myself. Of course, my vassals also have ships, so there's that to take in account, into account. But yeah, I mean, they. I'm just saying they have a fair number of boats. 
the floatiness of their boaty boys is excessively high. Oh shit, you need, what, 11,000? Yeah, fuck. Do you have a cannon? You don't. Now you do. Looks like we're gonna be needing a cannon. Oh! Oh no! Oh, trebuchet! Oh, trebuchet is gonna do no kills and die incredibly quickly. Fucking hell. What pissing timing, Jesus. We're only at 11 out of 16 now. Oh man, that timing sucked ass. Not happy. <laughs> Not in the slightest, fuck me. Fairly capable of getting rid of these guys. You're gonna you're locked into dying. Be nice if you had a fort up in uh, Tolchu. I will make you one. I think you can go to Mentessa now. That's where I'm gonna pick up this guy. This is really annoying. As I get locked in, he starts having problems. Not cool. Not cool. Game. Trebizond has fallen. Can I get up this way? Yes, I can. So we shall. I guess this guy can go take care of Sugla. Oh, fuck. Nah, there was already... There was, those guys beneath it are... Uh, almost fuck. But not quite. My vassals are taking care of that for me. Very nice of them. And the trebuchet has almost completed being built as well. Come on. I want to get this war over and done with. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to take in this war. Oh, interesting that uh, Jalariads didn't actually want any territory. Muscovy, ex uh, make, yeah. Muscovy emerges a victorious and makes a bunch of vassals. First step on the road to becoming uh, Russia. Wait, Muscovy has something going on with the White Horde. Muscovy is a tributary of the White Horde. All right, all right, all right. Oof. I was worried there for a moment. I needn't have been, but I was. And I don't really have anything else for you guys to do, so I guess we're just going to sit here and wait for the knights to be sieged. I guess I can have that happen in the next episode, though, because for right now I do need to take a short break here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.